you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Gundam, nobody's ever heard of you in the real world. You you don't know if you want to be Harry Potter or Jafar from Aladdin or Vegeta with that fucking what is that earring called? Like nigga, you only have one of the earrings. Who's the other one? I bet it's a fucking rat in your pocket. Bro, don't start Don't start the video with a fallen classmate. Manomi, get her up out of here. Bring somebody else, okay? Give me a hug. I want a hug. Put them jugs on my chest. Uh, get them jugs is the best. Uh, here from east to the west. I can't find no jugs to compress. Your jugs can't compress because they too big up in your chest. Bring them back. Reduction. Bring them back. Selection. Selection, select. Do y'all listen to selection? I, it made sense, bro. My bars made sense. What? Good, yo. Welcome back. Hey, to some more dangin' rumble. Who the, f bro? Why are you, Manomi? Why are you sending these ghouls to my, to my? Right, 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 right. So, I have zero skills. I'm sure y'all are saying because you don't, you, you don't play the game enough, Berlizzi. You probably forgot the whole trial, huh? You don't remember now one detail, huh? I do though. I'm done. Let's 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 get it going. All rise. Who is this, Judge now Maybelline? Then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Monokuma want to be Judge Judy so bad. Let's see. Chill out, bro. Oh, hold up. You notice too? Oh man, it's nothing. It's nothing too big. It's just my. Easy Gang Season 3 Custom Hulk Hogan Tributed 90s Edition. I gotta figure out the name for this shirt, bro. But it's just the Easy Manias. Established 1992. That's my birth year. So, you know, Sagittarius Gang, stand up. The rest of y'all, you can stand up too, man, I guess. But Sagittarius, stay standing a little bit longer. All right, let's, <laughs> let's keep it going. Monokuma, are you gonna relax and chill up here? During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Auto mode, and if I got my coffee. Correctly, That's why I'm acting only like the this. The blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, if you vote correctly, only the blackened will receive punishment. Hey, now one black character in Dang and Rope, he's talking about me. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, come on, bro. We've been here I before, don't like bro. Starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. That's excellent, cause neither do I. Neither do I, Nikito. I'm over here like, bro. This class trial is gonna be a pain in my booty, but at the same time. They didn't really give us much to work with. That investigation episode was so short. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. Oh, okay. You said, okay, I should know still. Okay. Even if you do grasp it, you're just going to confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Facts, 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 facts. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. One of y'all is the murderer then. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Kazuchi, what is your head filled with? Besides nuts, bolts, and cogs, like everything about you is cars or miss. Never mind. Like shut your ass up. Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it. You know. Okay, I like that, Akane. But it don't make sense. Anyway, you're right. You're right. We shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness. Why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? You better ask Computer Hajime and not me, I don't- <laughs> Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. Haji's voice almost threw me off, I'm like, who is talking right now? Okay, so there was two teams, hospital and motel, I remember that. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. Right, 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 right. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, 
Uchiaki and Hyoko. Kazuichi, okay. At the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. Whoa, you hear how depressed he sound? Him losing, um... My young master, him losing her, bro? It kind of, it really changed him. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Okay, good morning. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from her symptoms. That wasn't why she came over, you just didn't catch the signs. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery... Haji, come I on. I Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. Okay, okay. Let me focus. And then... I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. Why are you getting nervous like you're lying about it? Stop sweating in front of everyone. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... Somebody about to hang themselves by the neck. A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Okay. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? Why does he sound sarcastic? I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. It's all good, bro. Don't don't beat yourself up about it, bro. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the handbag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. Okay, I'm gonna I'm take it off auto mode. It takes too long. I should tell the others right away. So I headed to the motel. Which was a smart thing to do, Haji. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. And by the way, I did just hop out the shower. That's the only reason my hair looked like, I don't know, uh, dusty and gray, possibly. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after... We met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Look at Chiaki smiling like we had a romantic date. No, somebody died, Chiaki. This wasn't like... We were <gasps> also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out what does that mean various ways what does that mean when you asked him yeah <laughs> makan we don't know about makan bro she a freak a leak man various ways thank you i'm over here like what does that mean don't say it like that and confuse people why are you getting nervous bro he said i fucking bro makan walked in there said my young master like after i heard from those two that ibuki disappeared I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. Right. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. Right. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. How do they have enough time to sit up there and strategically put her clothes back on, style her hair and makeup, I don't know if that's makeup. That might be death on her face. And wrap the body around like that. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. And don't forget the bow is tied on the front. I think they had mentioned the bow was tied on the back during investigation. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Okay. When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. I don't think he's being sarcastic at all. I think he's just this, like, nice. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. What do you want to be? When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Right? Whoa, Haji. I mean, not Nagi. Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. The story I just heard is clearly suspicious. This is the third trial. I've already learned that when Nagi acts like this, he wants me to prove myself innocent. It's not a it's not a it's not really an attack on me, bro. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, 
then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? You know what would have been fire right now is if instead of Nagi being the one to accuse me, because I know what he's doing. It would have been fire if Chiaki was the one to do this. I would have, I would have flipped, bro, because. Lie? Why would I lie? But she was with me. Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. That's all he wants. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Prove you're not the killer. Like, okay, watch, watch, watch my tooth bullets. Bitch. It's just as Kazuichi said. Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! Shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Man, let me load my Glock real quick. Motel room, scrappies. Okay. Oh god, I'm right back in here, bro. I'm about to make all types of mistakes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we, start, before we start, before we start, before we start, I gotta look at these. Okay, motel key. This is what I was. Okay, a thick scrap of paper. It's probably not that. Music venue curtain. That could potentially be it. Step ladder. I don't even remember. The, okay, let me let me hear the let me hear it. Hajime is clearly suspicious. All right. Hajime's testimony is a lie. From the fact that Ibuki hung herself. That would also be a lie. Stop it. I don't think I can deny that possibility. You're probably the killer. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Hajime's the only witness. Okay. Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? Chiaki, stop it right now. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. I'm not the killer. There should be a contradiction somewhere. Let me think about this. I was only there twice, or I was the only witness, or it's based on the movie. It is based on the movie, but was I the only witness? No, Chiaki was there, right? And 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 it what's her name died what are my what are my options? If Hajime's testimony is a lie. Surveillance camera unit, surveillance monitor. I didn't that see the Bro, lie. I didn't see the movie until after the murders. Can deny that I didn't and and it's dated and I was all, got it. Hajime's Let's get it. Witness. I'm gonna stop saying bitch, bro, because I ain't trying to be demonetized. Ain't no telling with YouTube these days. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. Let's run it up. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Let me cut through those words. Let's get it going. This game made me feel like I'm like, I don't know, Einstein a little. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Let's get it. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Then say that. Don't accuse me so I look stupid choosing wrong truth bullets. I, sh I wish I had a real bullet for your skull sometimes. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Bro, this nigga invited me to the movie theater, like... Isn't that right, Monokuma? I'm still getting mad, but I literally just explained I knew what his purpose in asking me that was. But he's still like, I don't know, put your finger down. Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or, did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Right. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. I thought we should solidify the foundation! I can't get over his voice, bro. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. I know you'll see my game glitch and I... Bro, I promise if this game... If this crashed my computer... I need a new computer, bro. Now then... Since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. 
So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! Now with the despair disease, somebody told her to do that. If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Very true. Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. Right. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? They locked? You don't remember? The killer oh. locked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? Do we know that? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Somebody's idea was that the killer was in there the whole time and just showed up when we all bust in the room. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. I think it was Fuyihiko who said it the first time too. <laughs> they were! Ba -da 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 -da. This game has excellent soundtrack. If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two, Sonia and Kazuichi. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let, let's. This is where I wanted to be right now. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, you too. What the hell? Why is it gonna be us? Because you're still smiling in your case photo right there. The others all have alibis. Fuyahiko is a different monster right now. He's he's not playing around. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Yep. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. I forgot all about Mr. Boo Boo Pants. Me too! Hey, why are you talking like, huh? Did he eat Nekomaru? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? P please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Fuyahiko obviously thinks so, but is that really it? S semi transparent glob? What the f bro, what what could that be? Is that flubber? Like semi transparent glob, somebody was in here busting off in the middle of a murder? What is that is flubber? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay. That which means it was a, a liquid and it hardened. But that doesn't really explain. What is, what am I trying to explain? Hold on, let me hear this first. My fault, my fault. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. My aim is horrible. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. Wait, wait was that a question? The floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like the hitch. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. I think it is. I think it has to do with the glob. But let me. Probably the drumsticks the with the was glob. Still yeah. Inside the music bank by locking the door from the inside. They tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. 
The lock was on the floor and- Are you talking about the broken drumstick? The broken drumstick was used to lock the door from the inside, right? But is that proof? Well, it's not like if the door was really locked or not. Fuyuhiko- Oh! Oh! So maybe- Oh! When I was gone, they went inside, did what they had to do, ran outside, threw the liquid on, and then went up and met with us. Crap! Okay, so the contradiction is for Yahiko, not the Akane. Still inside the Got music you. Uh, you. You hear me being smart? Uh. I'm locking the door from the inside. No, that's wrong. Move! Thank you. No, that's wrong. Them purple remarks take like five clicks now. Hold on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob. Like rubber, maybe? Wasn't rubber at all. That semi-transparent glo gl glob was probably... Um... Gummy? What? What? What is this? Glue? I see. Cool. Liquid glue? Semi okay. Semi-transparent glob. Must have been glue. I mean, glue is kind of liquid until it hardens. Alright. Yeah, I think so, too. It's nice of you to join me in this uh, uh, onslaught of attacks on Michiaki. It had a firm gel-like chewiness, and I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Did you have some in your pocket? You put it back inside your mouth? You nasty b***h. Alright. Based on all that, <laughs> I'm certain it was glue. She's not a bitch, y'all. I gotta always apologize because my mom would not be proud knowing I'm calling cartoon women bitches. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep. It fits perfectly. Wow. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? Well, that's why they also had the drumsticks, Makan. Why are you talking all timid like it's like you did it all? Bro, she was the one taking care of every... Uh, I'm not going to put it on you yet. You, you put in a lot of work during this last uh, need for a nurse. That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. Wow. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? Yep. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. We all did, bro. Apologize to Miss Sonia. And me! However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time! Oh, you disrespectful, cuz Kazuichi. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Skip so, her, skip her. During the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. She's probably already murdered and just tied her up in the 10 minutes. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Yep. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? I mean, you could have easily stored the body somewhere. All of y'all was in the hospital. There's like four other islands, dude. You And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. Right. Just revealed? I know, Makan, it's sick. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? Gundam, your character is too cool and complex for you to be this quiet this whole playthrough so far. I hope, I hope you the killer, low-key, just so that you can have some depth. But I hope you get out of it and Monokuma spare you, because I, I need a little bit more from you, bro. That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? Right. 
That looked like seaweed. Now, I should be able to figure out what it is. Hangman's Gambit, let's go. This one is kind of easy. All I need is to get a few bows in first. Why is the L upside down? Whatever. Um. All right. Um. Window. Win. Win. Windex. Windigos. Wallpaper. Got it. That's what I'm saying. All I needed was one letter. I gotta go in order, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. It's been a minute. Where's the P at? Where's the P at? I don't give a damn. Ah! Give me an R, bro. Nice. I'm out. Alright. Scrap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? I did not know where it was from, but I knew it was wallpaper. Let's get let's keep it going, Hodge. You can work. Can oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Room. I knew that. It should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. Only reason I forgot was because it's been a while since I played. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting, tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. Right. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? Akane, we're all trying to figure that out right now. Give me a hug. A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. If you ever meet me in person, bro, I don't even know if I should be saying this. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify <laughs> that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. All right, let's give it a try. More truth bullets? Oh, logic dive. I like this one. It's just questions, right? Yes, sir. Dang and Ropa 2 went all out for these little games. Like they said, we know our we know we're known for just straight gameplay. How do you okay there we go? Uh I mean for straight dialogue, I'm gonna give you a little bit of gameplay, but I'm gonna let you know right now, uh players, it's not gonna make sense. There's no reason you should be snowboarding through your mind like this. This is acid. This gotta be DMT as well. Don't do drugs. Why did Hyoko's body suddenly appear at the crime scene? It was brought there. It was hidden. It was hidden. It was hidden. It was hidden. G yeah, give me there faster. Give me there faster. They have the nerve to give me four whole ass minutes to do this. How trash do you think I am? Do you think players aren't holding down control? Uh, I almost fell. I see. Okay. I heard you. Heard you loud and clear, Spike. What did the killer use to hide her body? The wallpaper. I got this wrong. Uh, if I would have went the other way, I would. I, I got this wrong. I'm saying. What? Uh. 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 I think my controller, I've been I've been eating on my desk too much. My controller's stuck. My my right key. Uh, uh, how did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall, they covered the what the f please be right. Oh I'm nice, bro. Uh, uh. It's all coming together. That's fine, but you gotta explain that in in like, you know. <laughs> Walk me through it, uh Haji. I want to call you Makoto so bad. Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. Right. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. Unless, yeah, are they saying, wait, wait. Yeah, explain this. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. Show me, show me right now. What? They 
hid the pillar? Go back and show me right now. Yeah, by wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, show me. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. Where? <laughs> because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar. I didn't realize that at the time. So did the killer leave one little piece of wallpaper? Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. This game is crazy. These kids shouldn't be, like, this good. Like... So they use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the... You telling me that this is supposed to be... Okay, listen, listen to this, y'all. These are supposed to be the ultimate students in high school. No, 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 because they're all of age. Maybe college. This is university, university, university. This is after high school. You take the best and brightest students from different fields. Musicians, uh, 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 mechanics, uh, athletics. You know what I mean? And, and, but they all are mastermind murderers. Like, who thinks to take a, a dead child body, put it up on a pillar, wrap wallpaper around it, the entire pillar up, make a bigger pillar, and then unwrap it when everybody's gone? Bro, like, I thought you'd be studying calculus. Like, what? Like, where's your calculus at? You over here doing murder. Where's calculus? <laughs> the baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music game. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper, and because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. How did they get that high up there with no ladder? Like, we got a, is there a 17 student and is fucking a monkey like climbing to the top? Diddy Kong, are you, a, are you an ultimate? You ultimate, fucking, ultimate. Diddy's cool. The killer must have been in a hurry. I can't even talk trash, she's cool. Too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar it's very bold and risky. I think that's a clue. Like, whose character is bold and risky? Not Makan. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. Unless Makan is trying to play like, like reverse psychology right now. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Great question. Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got it. Come back, Mike. Oh, we're not done here. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Every time Monomi come on the screen, the whole vibe is thrown off, bro. Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my Auto mode. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5 D? my likeness in your movies without my permission you're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs i don't eat mothballs i just enjoy looking at them i knew it there are so many similarities it must have been intentional ibuki's death by hanging matches the scarecrow's death from the movie not just that but Hyoko getting taped up after Ouch. her death matches the lion's death. Okay. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. Was he though? But why did the killer go to all Ouch. this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain. I see. How though? I don't even get that. The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Okay. 
then Hioko was actually killed before Ibuki? Oh, okay, I get it now. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. Well, you just asked what does it mean, so yeah, you're gonna listen. Gundam, you suck. I'm not even crying. Thank you, get off my girl, Gundam. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Gundam, nobody's ever heard of you in the real world. You you don't know if you want to be Harry Potter or Jafar from Aladdin. Or Vegeta with that fucking... What is that earring called? Like... Nigga, you only have one of the earrings. Who's the other one? I bet it's a fucking rat in your pocket. What a jerk! You morph into Barney or somebody. Oh, I see. What is you Barney? I explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Is Barney a dragon, a dinosaur, a turtle? Like, what are you? Why is your fucking jaw so fat, Barney? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! We never see this nigga food or diet, but he got the biggest mouth. Like, come on. Look, Ibuki died because she hated What are you eating right? with that? Alright, I'm gonna relax. That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. I only got on Barney because I it represented Gundam. Like, Barney, he alright too. What's wrong with that? Is he alright though? Like, we don't really know about Barney, like... But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. Hmm. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? You got Jimmy Neutron haircut. You, you low-class too. Copycat. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. Yo, Haji, jump in the mix, bro. <laughs> You're one to talk. Okay, okay, Kazuichi. Bro, that's all you're gonna get? A anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's statuses, status when Hiyoko was killed. <laughs> Blood on the soles, which means she may have walked in. No, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, step ladder. Let's see. When Hiyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Woo! With that. Easy work. Let's keep it going. These trials are low-key easier than the last game. Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Mm. Then it's Hiyoko's blood. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? Oh, Fuyuhiko probably feels this way because Hiyoko died. Yeah. If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Gundam, this is not what I meant when I said I needed more from you, bro. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Thank you. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. 
You're so frightened you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Um... You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Allow me to cut through those words. This dude wasn't even investigating, like... Yes, there was. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things! You don't have proof of that at all! Yes. I do. <laughs> right, yeah, bro. Like, you look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but Ibuki must have already stepped in it. And the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, It'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. My Akane voice is way better than theirs, I'll be honest. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Wow. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, None of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikan's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. And of course you're not going to apologize for all that. Bro, you know how stupid you look right now, Gundam? Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Kazuichi, I'm liking your energy this episode. Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Okay. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Ah. Uh. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Not even mad at it no more. Um, Nagito, what do you mean if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? Oh. After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Okay, I like that. Then she was alive. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be that's dead. That's not where I was going with that, but that's another possibility for sure. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. That's sick if that's the case. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. Oh, but you know what? There was that whole other room in the in the hospital. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. 
Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. Get them all out, bro. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Right. Location, candle, everything, bro. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? This is where I, this is also another suspicion I had going into this video. Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. That's interesting coming from you, Sonya, considering you don't have one to begin with. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it has some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? If that was live and I watched it from the hospital, it, 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 that couldn't have taken place in the hospital because I ran out the fucking front door and beat her there. That had to be the music venue. I saw it at the hospital right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Yikes. Then, we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. Alright, relax, Sonya. This a new game? Oh, more truth bullets? We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Yep. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Sure. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. Huh. Okay, the person who doesn't have an alibi for that time. We can. Oh gosh. Okay, let me look at everybody's account real quick. Monokuma. No, 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 no. Sonya. Okay. Kyoko was distraught because her kimono was disheveled and she was unable to tie it on her own. That's when Sonya apparently told her about the full-length mirror in the music venue storage room. After Fuyuhiko met Makan in front of the hospital, they split up to search for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater and Electric Avenue, but they didn't find anyone. Apparently, Fuyuhiko and Makan were only separated for a short time. Makan was with Haji the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized the Ibuki was disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. Let me take a look at, at these again. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Why would I need to agree with that? Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... 
Nobody has an alibi? Crap! Sleep. Did Makan say nobody has an alibi? I was where I was but that's not aside from those afflicted by the disease. If nobody has an alibi then I mean I thought Maka No, that's wrong. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. Fuyihiko too, no? You, you two have alibis? Whoa, why are you getting nervous? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. Where well, my easy game limited editions? We even woke up together that morning. Okay, relax, Mikan. Quit, quit. Yo, Chiaki is right here. Relax. Situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of this. This why, bro, you gotta be careful, bro. Makan, relax. It did not happen like that. <gasps> oh no! Too much info. Yeah, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. At all. Tell me Nagato's condition had improved. Good work, Haji. Smooth. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. Oh, yeah, duh. Okay, so Fuyihiko doesn't have an alibi right before because he said he was in his cottage, but Makan and I have an alibi because we were together before the announcement got you. I get it. You guys have alibis. Understood. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. Must be. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. Not me and uh, Makan, no sir! But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process? Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. The killer had a different reason? Are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us? If so, then whose? And what kind of trap is it? Really? They finna go on intermission? Oh, that's hilarious. Hiya! Hiya! Well, hello there, Monami. The moss balls surely look tasty today. Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chance time. Monami's appeal time starts now. What are we even talking about? What a dis um Just get this out of my face. Is this Yoshi Island with them fake ass cartoon cardboard cardboard hearts? All my jokes on this channel are all video game related. If you haven't really played video games, you probably like Yoshi Island. What is this dude talking about? Nope. I'm Monami. This is the last. That's the last person you put in front of my face to keep me playing. No sir. Ugh, that's how I want to end the video right there with my baby girl Yo, if you are enjoying this series and want to see it continue make sure you are leaving a Ass whooping on the like button. I need y'all to really beat the like button booty, bro The like button should not be sitting there looking like like nobody can touch him whoop his ass Subscribe if you are new turn on that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting videos. I love each and every one of you Thank you for watching see you in the next video. Who do y'all think it is? Let me know down in the comment section below Who's looking most suspicious? I still think it's Sonya, Nevermind, or Kaizuchi.
was interesting though we have not heard from Monokuma and did you hear Monokuma I mean Nekumaru because did you hear Nekumaru speak for Monokuma as if if you remember from the last game Monokuma is just a puppet that has a control center is Nekumaru at that control center speaking through this through this bear only one way to find out see you on the next video peace